In this video I'm going to show you how to make an arrowhead that was used in ancient times by the Greeks. This is made out of bronze and it's a two blade arrowhead with a barb on the back. The first step for this project is to go online and look at photos of original arrowheads so you can decide which style you want to make. Then sketch the arrowhead onto a block of wood and carve it out so you have an exact replica that you can use for your mold. Now that you have your wooden arrowhead carved, you can start casting these in bronze by making a mold. I like this method better than the lost wax method because that method you have to carve a new wax arrowhead every single time you want to make a bronze arrowhead. And with this method, I can reuse this wooden blank as many times as I want. You also need some kind of crucible. Uh, a lot of them will work, just buy them on Amazon. I took a uh, fire brick and just made a cheap crucible by carving out a little basin with a chisel and a little pour spout. So we'll place our metal right in here and then heat it up with the torch and pour it into our mold. Um, you'll need some of the metal. Uh, bronze is 88% copper and 12% tin. I got the tin on Amazon and uh, it just comes in these cut wire lengths. It's for making bronze so it's pretty easy to get. It's pretty much pure tin and uh, you just weigh out the measurements uh, to get the ratio. I have four ounces here to make this arrowhead and uh, when we melt it the tin and copper will all mix together to make the bronze. You'll also need a mold. I've uh, made this mold for other projects. I made quite a few Ootsy the Iceman copper axe heads with this uh, mold. It works great and I'm going to reuse it. That's the nice thing about a lot of this stuff. You can reuse and make as many uh, bronze arrowheads as you want. And you also need something to do your imprint in to cast the arrowhead in. And I'm using this product. It's called Delft Sand. And it works great. It uh, doesn't react with heat, so you can pour the liquid metal in there. And it's a really fine-grained sand material, so it can take an imprint and make a cast. So we'll uh, cast up this arrowhead and imprint it into this Delft Sand. You can see the Delft Sand has some little black flecks in there. That's because it's reusable. I've uh, casted quite a bit in this Delft Sand. The first step in making this arrowhead is to prepare our mold. Uh, what you do is you have two halves that fit together and we're going to pack this delft sand in really tight and then place this arrowhead uh, at the top here where there's this hole so I can pour the metal in through the hole and it will fill up the cavity. So we'll press these together, take out the wooden blank, put them back together and there will be an empty space uh, just the right size that will fill with the bronze and uh, make a great cast. So the first thing I'm going to do is since it fits together like this, I'm going to push it down so that's at the bottom and start pressing in our Delft sand and pack it in real tight so there's, there's no imprints or air bubbles. We now have the two halves of the mold uh, packed pretty tight with Delft sand so we're now ready to make the imprint out of our wooden blank that we can pour that uh, molten liquid bronze into and make our cast. So what you do is you just place, I'm going to place it a little bit below the neck and uh, doing point up on this one. And I'm going to push this down until it's halfway into that delft sand. And uh, as you kind of jiggle it loose, you'll start to see the imprint. You want to get every little detail, the little uh, barb and everything, the blade. So you want to push pretty tight and do it right at halfway. And then uh, I have little pegs here to line up this mold so that they're exact same position every time. And I'm going to push this top half on and press it down to get our full imprint. We've pressed that delft sand in the mold pretty hard on that wooden blank, so hopefully all the details for the arrowhead show in the space. And it doesn't look too bad, as you can see. Uh, I can see the little spur there, and I can see that main rib running down the arrowhead and the blade. So I think we have a pretty good imprint. We're going to put these back together, and uh, I'm going to make a little channel right here at the tip to pour that uh, bronze into. So I'm going to make sure that we got this just how we want it and then we're going to finish uh, casting this. So here's how our cast turned out. Overall, we preserved quite a bit of the detail. I have a little bit of slag on the side, which just comes right off. It's a nice thin piece 
Um, but all I need to do now is to clean this up. I'm going to use the grinder. Uh, overall, this arrowhead is going to look really nice. So I'm going to get working on this and then show you what it looks like after it's all ground down. Now that we have our arrowhead cleaned up on the grinder, it looks really good, but we need to create the socket. It would have been a lot easier with the lost wax mold. You could have created a socket in there and it would have been cast. But for this method, I have to drill it out. So I'm gonna use a drill press and uh, take out the um, center of that socket so that we can slide an arrow in. We'll also reduce the weight quite a bit. This is still too heavy to shoot with a bow and arrow, but when we uh, take out all that extra weight in metal on the socket, it should be light enough to shoot. So we'll put it on the drill press and uh, drill it out. Here's our completed bronze arrowhead after it's been all polished and shined up and after we drilled in the socket there. It's much lighter after drilling it out. If you got shot with this in a battle, it would be very difficult to pull this arrowhead out. That barb would be very effective at keeping that inside and a really neat design. We're going to go shoot this arrow and see how it flies. I just uh, put some fletchings on here, some white fletchings wrapped in a spiral with some uh, linen thread. So I think this will be a very effective arrow and it's very heavy so it should have quite a bit of penetration if you hit your mark. Let's go do some target practice. I recently opened up a new Facebook page devoted to this channel, so if you want to be the first to see some of the projects I'm working on and get some behind the scene footage of up and coming projects, click the link in the description below.